What's up, bitches? Hey, do you guys like Vina House? Vina House is Vietnamese house. And they all sound the same. They all have the same beat. Doesn't matter what song it is. Duh, 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 yeah, duh, they have the same bass line and it's kind of annoying. If you fucking walk on the club strip here, every fucking club has the same shit. Yeah. If you come every 30 minutes, it, it all sounds like it's the same song being played. As a amateur DJ slash producer, I get pretty annoyed. The kind of work they do, it seems kind of lazy. And it's freaking annoying to hear, but... Oh. And the thing about Northern Vietnam clubs, they blast their music like it's so loud. They redline their bass and it fucking hurts your ears. When we went to the clubs here, oh my god, my ears were bleeding. Like, yeah, it's, so fucking loud. it's pretty bad. DJs here suck. They redline their shit. People here, they, they want to be deaf. We couldn't handle it. We, we left early. Yeah. Maybe we'll show you some Vina House with uh, the montages that Hillary <laughs> will put together. That, would, that should be fun, huh? <laughs> Look at this. This is sticky rice with squid. So chan look. Check it out guys. This juice box comes with a lightsaber straw. You think it's like this, but wow. <laughs> Buy some more. Support the locals. Euros. Wow, fake euros. That's awesome. This entire stack is 50 cents. I bought one of these for the same price in Hanoi. You got ripped off. Support the locals. We'll just burn them. That would be fun. Yeah. Come on, Joe. Holy, I got all these stacks for three dollars. Those time. I'm supporting this one, and Hillary supporting the other one. cars in Vietnam, like basic American cars, you know you're looking at a baller to import and the selling price of a car in Vietnam is three times the price of whatever it is in Canada. So a basic Honda can cost $90,000. People here are driving Mercedes and Lexus. It's ridiculous. We have went into the Halong Vincom Center. Check out all these diffusers. I'm gonna get one. Look at this guys, this is pretty cool. 13 years ago when I came back, it wasn't nothing like this. Everything's so developed now. Five years ago, this bridge was never here. This is all brand new to me, but this is how people are getting through now. They don't use the ferry fee over there. That is the boat station where all the ferries go. When you walk through my grandparents' home, it's two steps away. This is my grandparents' house over there. All these boat people you think it's just businesses with boats but 
people live in here and it's a harsh reality and it's so sad when you look at how many boats there are just in this view alone they all live in these boats and they make a living off of it fishing making nets whatever it is that they can make on these boats uh-oh they have a grocery store chain that's not good not good at all amazing skincare stuff from here. We're not blessed with good stuff in Canada. This is like the best brand ever. Acnes, it's from Korea. It's amazing for people with oily or combination skin. Some organic shampoo from Australia. So, see here, that says Echo. And over there, it says Kappa. What are we in, 2003? <laughs> See my girlfriend. Check this out guys. We found a gym in Halong and it costs a dollar and fifty cents per person to use it. Pretty sick, eh? Gotta stay fit even on vacation. We just finished getting our pump on at the gym. Tung's aunt said that that mountain is climbable. So guess what we're doing tomorrow morning? That gorgeous mountain is gonna be ours tomorrow. We are now going to a family dinner at this fancy restaurant. What's up? What's up? What's up? I said what's up? Look how fancy we look. First time I strained my hair since Greece. And he has his hair all gelled. Yup. Lovely sweatpants and green shoes. Highlighter shoes. Lovely outfit there. The key to success is keep climbing these stairs. It's not cool. A bit more progress. I'm sweating. Higher than the eagle. Look how high up we are, guys. Whoa! How long did it take us to get up here? I don't know. 40 minutes. 40? Legend says that back then this city was being protected by a dragon who would drop down emerald stones to keep out outsiders and intruders. After a lot of time, those emerald stones popped up above the water and became all these wonderful caves and islands. Check out the city view. Oh my god, we're so high. City all around. And you can see the mountains in the distance as well. Really high peaks there. We are so damn high. We just traveled two hours from Halong and now we are in Haiphong, which is Tang's dad's side of the family. And this city is much busier, much louder. Hello, hello, good morning all. Today is Tuesday which means it's our last day in the cold north. Can't wait to get to the south and wear flip-flops and tanks and shorts and just complain about how fucking hot it is, how much I'm sweating. Ugh. And I need tan, man. I'm so pale. This guy clearly needs some vitamin D because he's going a little crazy. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, he won't be doing that shit in the south because it'll be way too hot. Yeah. He'll just be sweating, he'll be like, I don't want to move. <laughs> Okay, so what are we gonna do today? Right now we are looking for food. Food, 
what shall we eat today? Anything, anything. What do you feel like today, babe? Um, I really don't care. Well, let's go eat some frogs. Uh, you want some frogs? Yeah. We don't serve frogs in the morning today. Why not? Okay, let's ask. Frogs for breakfast. Yum. We got bamboo with garlic, escargot with lemongrass, fried rice, and tofu and tomato sauce. What's up, bitches? <laughs> So this is our last night in the north, last night in Haiphong City. We're just walking the streets, gonna get some drinks, gonna get some ice cream from this Korean shop. The street that we're on, that Tung's family lives on, is full of Korean investments. Like there's so many Korean shops, Korean grocery stores, Korean owned condos. Korean gyms. It's like full Korean. It's pretty cool. We just visited Tung's grandma, which is his dad's mom, and their entire family. It was a pretty interesting time. Tung's grandma is really funny. Yeah, she's a sweet old lady. She doesn't even remember my face. She's like, who is this? Who is this? Like, she doesn't say in the beginning. I saw her first because Tung was on his way. We were just talking and she's like, oh, who is this girl? And I was fully in the house. <laughs> And then after, we were like, oh, it's your grandson Tung's girlfriend. And she's like, oh, okay, okay. After she's like, wait, but where's Tung? Where is he? And I'm like, oh, he's coming, he's coming. After that, we went to go meet up with him in his other aunt's house. And it was pretty obvious that he would be her grandson. <laughs> but then we were talking for a while. And then she's like, who's this boy? <laughs> She's like, I'm your grandson. She doesn't recognize me anymore. So I don't, I don't know who this is. <laughs> when we left, he's like, where are you guys going? <laughs> Success! This is some bomb Korean ice cream. Can't tell good. you what it's called because I can't read Korean, but uh, it's like caramel praline. It's really, really good. Milky, creamy. Really good. Oh. Really good. Tomorrow our flight is at 1 10 p.m. We will get in Saigon at 3 3 30 ish. Can't wait to ditch this scarf, these two jackets, long pants, long sleeves. F all of that. This time tomorrow when we vlog it's gonna be like oh my god I can't breathe I'm melting. I'm just gonna complain all the time. I'm pretty sure yep. I'm gonna complain all the time. But at least we won't be complaining at that we're freezing. So what was your favorite part in the first half of our trip? Getting to see all the stuff that we saw. The, yeah. The lake. Getting to the see mountains. the stuff that I've been looking at online <laughs> for the past year. That was cool. Yeah. Seeing the stuff that most people don't see because when we went to these places, no one was there. But I do like, I miss working out. So I was really grateful to be back in the city where there was a gym. So yeah. Yeah. I like that too. This time tomorrow, I won't be able to hold an ice cream without it dripping all over my hands.